Alrighty, so today I'm going to show you how to create a lady face, but this will be more for if you wanted to make a witch or a Mrs. Claus or just a grandmother type figure. So what I'm going to do is first I have this ball of clay that's over a ball of foil and then I've just kind of put this pancake over it and um, you can bake this piece if you want that has the back of the head on it. Mine has been sitting out for a little while so it's kind of hardened up so I'm just going to use it how it is. Then I like to stick a stick in the bottom of it to give me something to hold on to. And then basically I just go through and get all of my clay nicely um, kneaded. And so it's And then I want to get the clay conditioned. So it's nicely kneaded and then it's nice and smooth and it makes it easy to blend into the head below. So I'm just going to take a few of these pancakes that I kind of squished to about a quarter of an inch or smaller. And then I just place them on the head. The idea here is to just basically get a background that's going to be kind of your surface for everything else. Try to get it as smooth as possible and to get all of the, the seams out of the way. So I do that mostly just by using my thumb and kind of pressing and dragging as I go. Here I'm putting in the sides of the face as well. Now you'll be able to see that in this face I do a lot of building up. So at first it's going to look kind of skinny and not quite the right shape, but you'll see as we go we'll add more and more pieces that will turn it into the correct shape. So here we're just again just going for the basic kind of egg shape skull type of shape here. You can see the, the chin area is a little bit lower than the back of the head. And then again, it's just a lot of smoothing with the thumb. The thumb is one of my favorite tools and it's nice because you never lose it. <laughs> it's always right there handy. All right, now next, I'm gonna go through and use this ball stylus that's a larger size and I'm gonna add in the eyes. Now the eyes may look like they're kind of low down on the face, but I still will be adding more of a chin and the bottom lip, so you wanna keep that in mind. So it'll actually be, the eyes are probably about the two thirds area. You usually have about a third of the forehead and a third of face line and then a third for the jaw area. So I'm gonna add this little pancake to the face, the nose, and just give it a little bit more forward structure so she has a bit more dimension. And then again, just using my thumbs to smooth it in. Now I'm gonna give it just a really kind of a rough nose shape, mostly so I can see where I'm headed. So I'm gonna shape this kind of like a little pyramid. Just a nice little nose shape, there we go. And then again, I'll just be smoothing in, but a lot of this is really tiny area, so I'm gonna to need to switch to a tool pretty quick here. There we go, the wood tool is a great one to use when you need to get into small areas. So is the Johnston 3-in-1 tool. Now I just give a little bit of a squeeze on that nose and then I'm kind of roughing in where I want those nostrils to be. And this is just a clay shaper tool. It just, just has a rubber pointed tip on the end of it. And then next I'm gonna get some clay ready for the lip area and then also the chin area. Now you can see on that one, it almost looks like a bit of a bottom lip there on the one edge of the pancake. Now you can see your face is quite skinny at this point. So I'll be taking care of that, but first I'm gonna shape the mouth just a little bit this is more for placement, so I have a good idea of where the piece is going to be. Now as I go, I just kind of shape it here and there a little bit, but pretty soon I'm going to need to get those sides in, because otherwise her face looks too skeletal. So first we'll get that chin in there, 
because that way we can spread it up the side where the cheeks would be without squishing the cheeks down. And then we'll put the cheeks on afterwards. So underneath the head, I'm trying to make sure that's nice and smooth as well. All right, just shaping the chin just a little bit. Giving the whole thing just a little adjustments as I go. I tend to do that, kind of work the whole face at once rather than just focus on one spot necessarily. So then for these sides, you want to take a piece that's probably about the size of a garbanzo bean or so, and then just kind of flatten it out into a curved, kind of more like a kidney bean type shape. And now this is going to go underneath the eye and then wrap around to the corner of the mouth. And it will, it will also be giving much of the cheek area. Looks like I need to just smooth that, make it just a little bit thinner so it's going to blend in better underneath the eye. And then typically on the other side, I do something of the same shape. Looks like I got a little bit out of camera here. Come on up, April. There we go. There we go. All right. Now we can see it better. You can see how adding that chin piece kind of gives you um, the back of the jaw as well. Now you can see why we had those eyes down so low because really they end up being plenty high as we add the lower half of the face too. So now I'm going to repeat that same process except this will be for that left side. And again, you just put it right into the corner of the eye, kind of back to where the cheekbone would be. So now I just continue to smooth in these cheeks that we've added. At the bottom, you can leave it not very smooth and also like around the corners of the mouth because that kind of creates the jowls a bit. And just depends how, how deep and how um, prevalent you want those lines to be. But you can see how I just kind of open up those eye spaces again. So we'll be able to have space when we add in her eyeballs. And now her face looks much better. So these are my handcrafted eyes that I'm using. And this would be the large size, which is about an eight millimeter size. <coughs> And so it's just, just bigger than the fairy eye size because this head is quite a bit bigger than the fairy heads that I usually do. Now the main thing with it is to try to get them very straight so the eyes are both looking in the same direction and that you have the pupils so you don't have one of them be wall-eyed or anything. And then what I do is I take a little piece that's kind of a little bit bigger than a grain of rice and I put it underneath the eye. So just kind of got that fat pocket that is underneath the eye, especially on older people, it, it grows in time. And then I'll just keep adding little pieces like that to the top of her head as well. That way we'll get in the top lid and also a bit more of a brow. So at first she looks kind of puffy, but then we end up flattening this down with the tools once we get back to doing the tools again. Here you can see I'm just adding in a bit of an eyelid, opening up the eye a bit more. And I just kind of vary between using my fingers and the tools. But just notice the difference from the right eye to the left eye. It makes a big difference to have the eyelid in. It makes it look, look much more lifelike. Now on this this video, um, the whole time I have it sped up. So this is twice the speed that I usually go that you're seeing, just because a lot of the movements are really slow and you basically can see the same idea, just a little bit sped up here. So to do ahead usually takes twice the length of this video to get that done, just in case you were wondering how it happened so quickly. It's because it's a little bit sped up. All right, so now we're getting these, they're kind of like the eyebrow slash brow area. I'll get them smoothed in a bit as well. And then see if I need to add any more. Cause you always wanna make sure that your doll has a bit of a brow and she doesn't just have a flat forehead cause foreheads are actually a bit rounded and they're kind of squared off at the brow area. 
So now I'm just gonna go ahead and add a bit of a forehead as well. And just fit that right in on top. There, now you can see there's a lot of work to do with smoothing things out, but this kind of gives you an idea of how to create the basic shapes of a face. And then really from this, this type of face here, you could make it more masculine by keeping the brow a lot more square and more pronounced and making the nose a bit bigger, making the chin a bit bigger, that will give it more of a masculine look. And to make the lady doll, like we're doing this time, we're gonna keep it a bit more rounded and the brow will be firm enough to be able to show up that she's got shape and bone, you know, essentially under that, around that eye orbital area. But everything is a lot smoother and rounder and smaller for the feminine look. So now I'm just kind of moving around and getting the shapes put in a little bit more. I decided I wanted to give her a little bit more of a jowl look, a little up higher than what we have currently. So you can just use a wooden tool or a flat metal tool or the Johnston 3-in-1 are all great tools to use for this. On mine, on the nose especially, I like to make sure that the nose wings, the side of the nose where the nostrils will be, are kind of flattened out a bit too. And then I'll just keep going about shaping the clay that we have on here, opening up the eyes a bit and kind of flattening those fat pads that she has. That is a great place to add in some wrinkles and such as we get to that point. But at first we're just doing the main basic shapes. And then I go in with my thumb and fingers to do a lot of the smoothing because you don't want any of your blend lines to just be left there. You want it to all smooth in nicely. And then once we get this smoothed in, I will show you how we do more of the detail work in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.